On, you guys, this is Madam Mini One. I am coming back to you again. This is from the Boss of Staff from Bossup.com, and it says um, the title is a Chicago Mom Arrested for Allegedly Stealing Taraji P. Henson's Identity. A mom of six suffering from bipolar disorder and currently pregnant with her seventh child is in hot water after she allegedly stole Tar Taraji P. Henson's identity. 29-year-old Alicia Newby was reported reportedly able to rack up 12K after targeting the Empire actress and several others. This is from the, the Chicago Tribune. A pregnant mother of six trembles throughout a court hearing Sunday as prosecutors accuse her of stealing identities of several people, including a star of a Fox television show, Empire, and collecting thousands of dollars in merchandise mailed to the dummy addresses. Alicia Newby quietly sobbed next to her court-appointed attorney in the Lithen, Lithenton, excuse me, criminal court building charged with a single felony of a single felony count of continuing a financial crime enterprise newbie age 29 was ordered release on a ten thousand dollar signature bond and electronic monitoring but forbidden from contacting victims or witnesses <clears throat> excuse me during the hearing the judge Charles S. Beach II. Prosecutors didn't name either of Newby's alleged victims, but police and court records list actress Taraji P. Henson, age 43, as one of them. A representative for the Oscar and Emmy nominated actress who starred in the hip hop drama that filmed in Chicago couldn't be reached for comment on Sunday. Sunday afternoon. According to the report, about 4,000 worth of fraudulent charges were canceled after Henson's manager noticed a discrepancy last August. The connection between Newby and Ava mental advocate Taraji P. Henson hasn't been discovered yet, but authorities say Newby somehow gained access to her email. Authorities did not say how Newby or N. Henson knew one another, but a police source says investigators were also looking into whether any of the cast members of Empire may have been victims. A key to Newby's success was compromising Henson's email, prosecutors said. Once this was done, the defendant then raided the account of a variety of information, including phone numbers, addresses, financial accounts, telephone numbers that she could then use to purchase items online. Assistant State's Attorney James Costello told the court, in addition to defrauding Henson, Newby also defrauded J.P. Morgan Chase, American Express, and PayPal, and multiple other merchants in her scheme according to charging documents it says yikes it appears that this isn't newbies only running with the law last september a u.s postal service letter carrier refused to deliver packages to one of the addresses believing it was used in an id theft scam but allegedly assaulted by newbie demanding that she deliver the packages After she caused a scene at a local post office, Costello said, authorities lost track of Newby. In December, after she cleared out an apartment, leaving behind thousands of dollars in damages and about 4000 in unpaid rent. She resurfaced early this year when she pawned a designer purse 
using her real state identification, Costello said. The pawnbroker and three other postal employees identified Newby by photo. We hope this young woman and her children get the help that she needs. And that is the end of the article. Um, basically, you know, man, like the connection between it, um, how would she be able to have access to that? I'm not sure. It could be a lot of ins and outs, a lot of minor details. Um, Taraji P. Henson, I do know, is an advocate for mental health. She has been for a good, decent amount of time. She has also spoke out um, about mental health and things of that nature. So it could have been from either one of the many, you know, um, interviews that she's done or um, fundraisers or um, things dealing with mental health that she has participated in. So definitely um, that could be one way, but um, unfortunately, very tragic, you know, she tries to help um, the very people that she, you know, that took advantage of it and racked up all this, you know, this debt or whatever the case is. Um, let me know, um, you guys, what you think about this. There's a, this is a mom of six. Um, she is currently pregnant with her seventh child. Um, the question is for me, as far as uh, newbie is concerned, why, um, if she has a counselor or a worker or something like that, um, why wasn't she able to be, you know, tracked down? Um, if she's diagnosed with bipolar. I would assume that in some states they do keep a record of um, people that have been diagnosed or, you know, based on upon the incidents that have occurred that led to their diagnosis or whatever the case is, uh, maybe her doctor, uh, was she on her medication at the time? So many questions that could have been um, asked about this young lady, newbie, Miss Newbie. So. Again, drop down in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this. Uh, what is your opinion on it? And I definitely respond to most of the comments. So any comment is greatly appreciated. Until then, I am Madam81.